Hi guys and uh, welcome back to the channel. In this, the final part of this uh, tutorial, we're going to finish up all the way to varnish in this one. So yeah, let's get cracking. Uh, last time we left off uh, doing the muzzle, so here I'm just coming back with my uh, liner brush just to define some of the dark spots. The key is, uh, as always, just to take your time keep uh, referring to your reference and try and follow that as closely as possible and uh, as I did say in the previous vi video there's just no shortcut here you have to take your time and uh, the results will be well worth it I'm just blotching in some of these little dimples there quickly this part was my absolute nemesis I sort of almost left this to last it's a bit complicated with all the different textures and colors so I just broke it down and started selectively putting in the highlights after doing a quick wash of just uh, medium gray and once I have some highlights down I can actually see where everything belongs so I'm just building it up slowly making sure that I get the bright parts in the correct position and then the rest will follow automatically Guys, these videos take a long time to make, so please show your support by liking and subscribing. We much appreciate it. I'm starting with the tongue here now, and I'm coming with my airbrush and just laying down a bit of a shadow. Um, you could also do this just with a normal brush, but I wanted it smooth and nice. And I also want to try another technique with the eraser, which we'll get to just now. My paint is very thin, so I have a lot of chance to get the blending right. I'm also laying some dark over the, uh, the lips, just to bring some shadows in there and some form. As you can see, it builds up nice and slowly. And here I'm using a bit of torn paper just to add some edges. Sorting out some of the nose detail. Here I'm coming with my electric eraser. You could also just stipple it with some white paint. But uh, I have the eraser and I thought let me give it a go. And uh, because the paint is fairly thin and the primer is quite thick, you can easily just um, erase some of this out to create some highlights. I noticed that I got this line completely wrong, but I fixed that in the final version, as you can see over here. I just keep going and pulling out some highlights, and then I'll come with my airbrush and blend that back until I get the desired result. Just blending in the other side of the lips.
and this fur under the chest again with a bigger brush because it is um, a bit blurry we didn't want quite the defined lines as we have in the face so I just built it up in layers I'll come with some black wash and create some of the shadows and we basically coming to the end of this detail section so just going over a few parts some of the edges here quickly just to blend that back a bit of airbrush just to soften the edge slightly and now we come with uh, some glazing using a soft brush and a very weak yellow just building up the um, the orange parts and the more you put down the darker it gets so you'll see it starting to take form just take your time and also doing the tongue at the same time while the orange dries I quickly switch to the tongue and the lips here I'm doing the blue tinge for the hair and now it's time for the whiskers um, I did varnish this beforehand and you'll see why just now so take your liner brush and I just flattened it out keep a wet rag handy because you can just wipe over any mistakes because you have a varnish down you can do that if you want to or you don't need to but I decided just for safety just to put a varnish down so I've got quite a thin paint and I'm just uh, laying down which I didn't like here so I just wipe it off without any fear of destroying your artwork you can do this as long as you need to until you have until you get the uh, the whiskers in the right place dogs aren't known for their whiskers it's like cats so these are just a few maybe 10 or 12 little thin whiskers and it's all this fine detail that makes a difference another mistake just wipe it off guys if you like this sort of thing please again try and uh, like and subscribe it helps me create some more videos they take a long time to make so if you enjoy this sort of content please let us know Some of the whiskers are black, some are white, some are multicolored. Just doing some final touches with the airbrush. And uh, I'm actually blending in the top of the head with the background so that the line isn't so harsh. Uh, very thin uh, yellow that I still had left over from the background. Coming back with just a bit of dark shadow just to finalize that again. Because I went and had a bit of yellow that went over the top, a bit of overspray, so we just quickly sort that. Don't forget to sign your artwork, of course. So I'm just using a white acrylic pen here dusting off any dust that might be on there and I do this varnish in a two-step process you'll see just now I'm using a soft spongy type uh, brush and the best way to do this is in long strokes and in sections um, they're going to divide this up into four sections 
and the trick with the varnish is to put it on and walk away. Don't fiddle with it, it'll settle. So just be positive with your strokes. I'll just do the edges first quickly and then I'll just uh, brush this in in four sections and the idea is to put it on and walk away. Don't fiddle with it because as you fiddle it dries and it'll curl up on you but don't worry it'll settle right down and it'll go completely flat and transparent and I'm using a satin varnish here which is fine as is but I like it to be completely matte so that there's no reflections so I have another little technique which I'll show you in a few minutes And you'll notice I have a light in front, which is a window, and then I can actually see where I have varnished as well. So that's quite a handy little tip. Now we just walk away, let it dry. And here's an optional step if you want. I've reduced this varnish 50-50 with uh, some distilled water. I'm using my 0.5 needle brush and 3 PSI. And we're gonna just go in a circular motion. a distance of about 10 to 15 centimeters and we're going to just dust over this reduced varnish and it creates a completely matte surface. I've got a light source from the right so I can see where I've painted and you can do this once or twice maximum and then you should be good to go. Right there we have it guys, you can see a nice beautiful even finish, great detail, well worth the effort. Please if you like this sort of thing, like and subscribe and comment below, link us to your own paintings. And thanks again for watching and until the next time, thank you so much.